Hey guys and welcome to the next Game Gengu JLPT N3 Grammar video. In this video we're going to be covering Kuseni, Marude, Masaka and Metaninai. In this video you'll be learning exactly how to use each of these pieces of grammar thanks to a ton of different examples from video games so that you can learn exactly what type of context these pieces of grammar are used in. If you like this kind of video, then consider liking, subscribing, and come join us over on the Game Genko Discord on Patreon. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Kuseni. Here, kuseni is a piece of grammar that's used to express very strong feelings of dissatisfaction or blame. With the overall tone of the sentence being rather strong, it's often seen translated as despite or although, but this can actually be a fairly difficult piece of grammar to translate exactly in natural English. The main way that it's used is kind of like saying despite the fact that and it's used when in relation to someone's position or point of standing, and despite them being that position or certain circumstance. Kuseni is often used with people when you're wanting to express a certain level of criticism or contempt for that person. To use kuseni, simply follow a dictionary form of a verb, e adjectives, na adjectives with the na, and nouns with no kuseni. A few things to keep in mind though, you cannot use it with yourself and you need to use it when in regards to someone else. As Kuseni expresses dissatisfaction, condemnation or contempt for someone else that is unsuitable of a certain position, status or situation. It expresses that that status is not fitting whatever comes before it. For example, perhaps someone's Japanese is strange even though they are a Japanese person. Well, you could say, Nihonjin no kuseni, Nihongo ga hen nanda. Despite them being Japanese, their Japanese is strange. So you can see how it's used when talking about a person's certain situation, circumstance or position. They are a Japanese person. But despite that, Nihonjin no kuseni, their Japanese is odd. So like seen here in Persona 5, despite the fact that you look down on people, hito no koto mikudashiteru kuseni, you look so freaking lame. So here the position or stance that they are is they're taking this stance of looking down on people. Despite you taking that stance, you're very lame yourself. Yui? Sore wa shinai hou ga ii desu. スター殺しOkay, so like seen here in Jojo, even though the hospital's facilities are not good, they're pushing for hospitalization because they want to make money. So despite the circumstance, despite the situation that the hospital's facilities are bad, the people here are pushing for the money. Or like here seen in Smash Brothers, despite being a wolf, he's working with others. Here referring to the fact that it's normal for wolves to be solitary creatures, but despite the fact that he's a wolf, he's working with others. Or like seen here in Ghost of Tsushima, all you think about is killing though. So despite the fact that you only think about killing. And finally here in Tales of Arise, why can't you just leave me alone? Despite the fact that you don't know anything about me. So here the position is that you're in a state of not knowing anything about her and yet you don't leave her alone. So as you can see it is a difficult one to give the perfect English translation. But just remember that kuseni is used when you're talking about a certain position or standing. And despite being in that position or standing the following thing is stated often talking about some sort of criticism, blame, or contempt towards a person, despite the fact that. Nah, nanka kono basho, miyoboe ga nai ka? 
うーんそうかなそれよりソニックこの世界まるで色と力を吸い取られちゃったみたいで気味悪くない Next, we have marude. And this is a nice piece of language that's used to say that something is just like something else. It often has yoda, yona, or yoni, or even mitai following to further express what something is like. For example, marude yume no yoda. It's just like it's a dream. So, like seen here in Sonic Generations, the world seems as if all the color and power got sucked up. It's just like all of the color was sucked up. All right, let's have a look at some more examples and see how it's used. So, pretty straightforward, we can see here in Near Reincarnation, it's just like a castle. Or like here in Shadow Hearts 2. To me, it only looks like you're looking for a place to die. So it looks as if you're looking for a place to die. It looks just like you're looking for a place to die. Or like this famous clip from Metal Gear Solid 1 this is just like an anime. Or as famously translated in English What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. So we can see that marude is used to show that something is just like something else. It's used to create a simile. Just remember that when you want to use it, you can just use marude before a noun to simply just say that it's like that noun. But this is actually a contraction of the more fuller grammar point marude dun 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 no yoda. And so you could say marude noun. No yoda. Marude ningen no yoda. Or, marude something no yona noun. Marude tenshi no yona hito ja. Or, for example, marude noun no yoni, and then a verb or an adjective. Marude betsujin no yoni n a t t e s h i m a t t a And as I said previously, you can use mitai instead of no yoda, but this just makes it more colloquial. Spoken language. Masaka. Masaka is a piece of language to express a strong disbelief that it could be that way. Often seen as like, no way. That can't be, or that's impossible in English. This can be used both with negative clauses to say that there is no way that a thing could be such a way, like, Masaka, sonna koto wa deki nai. There's no way I could do such a thing, or simply by itself to express disbelief and a strong sense of doubt, with just simply, Masaka, no way. So, like seen here in Kingdom Hearts with Tigger. Feeling lonely? Me? No way! You gotta be kidding! So, here, how he's using Masaka is all by itself and it's expressing complete disbelief. No way! As if I could be lonely. That's impossible. Masaka. まさかここでお前と出会うなんてなイタチあの女だってそうさ親父を始末してほしかったんだまさか何がまさかだおおまさかそのような姿で迷い出るとはな殺す貴様を Or like here in Death End Request 2 No way You don't know? まさか知らないの Or, like here in Naruto, I never thought I'd see you here. So, here we can see how Masaka can be used to also just express that you absolutely didn't know or you absolutely didn't think something. Here, Masaka is expressing that I never thought. They're very surprised at the situation that Itachi is here. I never thought I'd see you here. 
Again here in Yakuza 7 showing disbelief that the girl wanted her own father dead. And finally like seen here in Street Fighter 5, I never expected you to wander off looking like that. So here it shows that they didn't have the expectation. He didn't think, he didn't expect that such a thing would happen. So we can see that Masaka is used when you have a strong sense of disbelief that something is a certain way, that it can't be that way, that you didn't think it would be that way, or even so strongly that it's impossible to be that way. No way, Masaka. <laughs> This next piece of grammar, metta ni nai, is used to express that the occurrence of something is extremely low. So we might often see it translated as rarely or hardly ever. To use this, just very simply put metta ni in front of any verb in the nai form to express rarely or hardly ever doing that action. Metta ni ikanai. I rarely go. Metta ni tabenai. I hardly ever eat it. Or with nouns, simply follow that noun with wa metta ni nai. Like kono chansu wa metta ni nai. As for a chance like this, it's very rare. You'll rarely have a chance like this. So like here in Witcher 3, Geralt is kind of surprised because this girl says that he's very kind and he says, well, that's rarely ever said, but thank you. So metta ni iware nai ga. So iwareru means it was or is said in the passive sense. And metta ni iware nai means that it is rarely said. So it's rarely said that he's a nice guy, but thanks. あなたを取材中にテレビ中継者と護送者が拘束で事故ったことになってるの or like seen here in Pokemon with Clefairy. So it's one of the fairies that rarely appear in front of people. But as we can see here in Ryuga Gotoku Ishin, this kind of chance rarely doesn't exist. Konna kikai metta ni nai. So there actually isn't a verb in the middle of metta ni and nai. And the reason why is because the nai here is acting as the verb by itself. It's just the nai form of aru, to be. So very simply, it's just used here to say that a chance like this is quite rare. And again here in police notes, it's a major accident which is rare here. So here metta ni nai is actually modifying the daijiko, the major accident. It's a major accident that doesn't often exist or doesn't often happen. So that's a pretty straightforward piece of grammar. Metta ni nai is just used to show that the occurrence of something is extremely low. Something is very rare. So if you have a look at this frequency chart from nihongobu.net, you can see that metta ni masen or metta ni nai is around the very bottom of the frequency of something. With zen zen nai or zen zen masen and mataku nai or mataku masen as the only two expressions here that are more infrequent. And there you have it, the next four pieces of N3 grammar for the JLPT N3 video series. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry for the long wait, I just got married, so life's been a little bit hectic. However, very, very good news. Very soon, I may finally be ready to actually go full time with Game Gengo. Thanks to everyone's support on Patreon. I'm still really not quite there yet, but I'm going to give it a chance and try and give it my all and try to make this next year, 2023, a huge growth year. I have so much planned for this channel, so much I want to do. I'm just limited by time because I also work full time as a university teacher. So if you like this kind of video, consider liking, subscribing and come join us on Patreon. I really appreciate everyone's support and it's going to allow me to produce produce content way more than I currently do, perhaps even double three times maybe, maybe even four times um, the amount of content that I currently make. So I hope you guys all enjoy the next year, there's a lot of good stuff coming, and as always, I'll see you all again in the next video. Thank you very much.